This video presents our project Low Power Portable Electroencephalogram for Continuous Monitoring with Active Electrodes developed for Texas Instruments Analog Design Contest 2011. The innovation in our project is the active electrodes that we have designed and developed. In the conventional EEG, conductive gel is applied on the scalp of the patient before it is attached onto his head. This actually increases the conductivity of the electrode so that the signal to noise ratio improves. But this causes a lot of discomfort for the patient wearing the electrode. So we have come up with the solution where we have embedded amplifiers along with the electrode that is shown in the video. This is the electrode that we have developed and the uh, amplifiers that we have designed are embedded in the PCB along with the electrode. This is the gold plated electrode that we have used and this is the amplifier that we have embedded along with the electrode. This amplifier includes a voltage follower that provides a high input impedance so that there is no loading of the signal. This voltage follower is followed by a instrumentation amplifier INA333 that provides a gain of around 800 and this INA333 is followed by a stage of uh, in inverting amplifier using OPA333 that provides further gain of 5 and this also act acts as a low pass filter as we have implemented a salon key second order low pass filter in this PCB. This is the electrode, active electrode that we have designed and developed. The signal amplified by the active electrodes is then sent to the MSP430 microcontroller. The SIR ADC which is inbuilt in the microcontroller is used to digitize the analog signal that is amplified from the active electrode. This is the EZ430 RF2500 module that we have taken from Texas Instruments. This has an MSP430 16-bit microcontroller and a wireless transmitter chip that is CC2500 which transmits the signal in 2.4 GHz ISM band within 20 to 30 meters from the device. The signal acquired by the electrode is highly distorted by the 50 Hz power line noise which has to be filtered in the digital domain. So what we are doing is the digitized signal is sent to the CC2500 via SPI from the MSP430 microcontroller. The signal is then received by the receiver IC that is connected to the PC. The receiver IC also has a CC2500 receiver and a MSP430 microcontroller. The MS430 microcontroller receives the digitized data from the CC2500 and the data is then read by the MATLAB software via the serial port that is RS232 port. The MATLAB is then used to display the waveform after filtering and 50 Hz notch IAR filter is implemented in the MATLAB to remove the 50 Hz power line noise that is added while acquiring the signal through the active electrode. This notch filter can also be implemented in the MSP430 microcontroller but here for ease we have implemented this in the MATLAB. This can easily be implemented in the MSP430 microcontroller so that uh, a PC is not required to display the waveform always. A, a simple display device is enough to display the filtered waveform. This is the demo of our low power portable EEG. Here we have we are showing the signal that is amplified by the active electrodes without any filtering. This is the signal that is received from the active electrode without any filtering. Here the 50 Hz power line noise is interfering the signal very much. So we will have to filter this in the digital domain. This is the direct analog signal that we are showing in the oscilloscope of the individual's brain wave that he is wearing now. Here the user is wearing the portable EEG that we have developed onto his head. He is holding the 
MSP430 module in his hand that digitizes the analog signal that is amplified from the active electrode. This digitized signal is sent to the CC2500 wireless transmitter of the MSP430 that is EZ430 RF2500 wireless module. From the CC2500 that is held in the hand of the user, the data is sent to the CC2500 receiver IC that is connected to the PC wirelessly. The data that is received by the receiver is then read by the MATLAB software which then displays the waveform received. Here we can see the waveform that is received by the MSP430 receiver. We have used the MATLAB to display the waveform. The data received by the wireless receiver shown over here was stored temporarily in a variable in the PC. The data stored is then taken by the MATLAB to further process the signal. Here we are running our code that implements the IIR filter to remove the 50 Hz noise that is distorting the signal that we have acquired from the active electrode. Here we are running the code which actually implements the IIR filter. This is the notch filter response that we have implemented in the code. And this is the time domain and the frequency domain representation of the signal that we have received wirelessly through the MSP430 wireless module from the active electrodes. This is the time domain representation of the unfiltered signal that is received and this has got a large peak at the 50 hertz. In the frequency domain we can see that. So, so. In the frequency domain we can see that there is a large spike at the 50 hertz that we have removed using the 50 hertz notch filter and this is the time domain representation of the filtered signal. This filtered signal has the frequency component varying from 0 to, 0 to around 100 hertz and there is a large frequency content between 0 to 20 hertz which represents the alpha waves of the brain. The alpha waves mainly vary from 8 to 15 hertz. Here there is a large frequency component at this range. It is further passed through a low pass filter which again filters the signal to obtain a smoothened signal represented here. 